Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LSPDFR tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to update your LSPDFR files for GTA 5. Now Rockstar just came out with update but LSPDFR is on it and so is the creator of Script Hook V. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to install both of them, get them back inside your game so your game is updated so you can continue to play. So if you are new to the channel, if you can do me that one favor, hit that subscribe button, help this channel reach 100 thousand subscribers that would be absolutely amazing i'm gonna help you get your game updated so let's go and get into it the very first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you guys read through here especially this part right here so if you guys are on them uh the xbox launcher or you know epic games uh make sure you guys pay attention to this right here for the enhanced version is not supported so make sure you guys read up on that uh but we are going to go ahead and start by clicking download this file we're going to go ahead and scroll down we're going to click agree and download we're going to go to manual install click download right there we're going to let that go through then we're going to go to script hook v again both of these will be linked down in the description all you have to do is click the link will lead you right to this page all you have to do is scroll down click download right here and there you guys go you now have script hook v downloading you also have lsvdfr i use winwar to open up my zip files now what we're going to do is click open file open file on both of them and we are going to go ahead and winwar says that you have to pay for it but i it, it, you don't uh, but we're going to go ahead and move this over here. And then what we're going to do is go to Steam, go to Steam Library, go to Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy, right click, hit Manage, and we are going to hit Browse Local Files. So what that's going to do is pull us over to our GTA 5 main directory, and we're going to start off with LS Video Far. So if you go to LS Video Far, you go ahead and scroll down, you're going to see right here it says Rage Plugin Hook.exe. That is the file that you want. You're going to go ahead and take this file, drag and drop into your GTA 5 main directory, hit replace file and destination, just like so. And now what we are going to do is go to the script hook V. So we're going to go to the bin folder and we are going to take these four files, drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory. If you guys don't want the native trainer, you don't have to put that in there, but I always put it in there. I don't use it, but either way, I just always drag and drop everything in there. Just like that, replace the files in the destination, and we are good to go. Let's go ahead and jump inside the game. So let's go to Rage Plugin Hook. We're going to go right here where it says More Info. We're going to go ahead and click Run anyway. We're going to let that go through, and boom. Just like this, we are going to go ahead and hit the green check mark, hit Accept, and we are going to go ahead and load this up. Now, my screen is going to look different than your guys'. So Plugin Timeout Threshold. I recommend 60,000 for you guys. But I keep it at 10. That's the way I like it. I don't load any plugins on startup, but I recommend 60,000 for you guys. Uh, console key is F4. Plugins, I don't let it load any plugins on startup. The reason for that is some of the plugins like to kind of make the game freeze. If you don't load any plugins on startup, you can load up manually inside the game. So I always go don't load any plugins on startup. And I'm going to hit save and launch. I'm going to click OK, and we're going to go ahead and let this load up. We're going to let it go all the way through to the game, and then I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to load up LS Video Far, and then we are also going to turn our lights on so you guys see that script hook V is working. So let's go ahead and get through there. Rockstar, Rockstar did us dirty on this one. They keep getting us, but it's all good because, like I said, LS Video Far has dirt on it, and so is the creator of script hook V, and... Uh, it didn't take too long for that to get updated. Sometimes uh, I've waited two weeks before for everything to be updated. So let's just say we're blessed for this one. And big shout out to the creators of LSP Defar and uh, Rage Plugin Hook and Script Hook V. Big shout out to them because they're really keeping up to keeping us up to date to our files, and we're not having to wait too long. But let's let this go through. And as soon as it pushes through again, like I said, I will load up LSP Defar manually. I like doing it this way. I mean. It's up to you how you how you want to do it. If you want to load up plugins on startup, that's up to you. But me personally, I just I think it works so much smoother this way where I load it up myself and I'm actually inside the game so I can see what's possibly crashing or you know anything along them lines. So since we're in here as Michael, I'm gonna go ahead and go outside. We are gonna go ahead and type F4, type reload all plugins. Just like so. We're going to let that load in. Once that loads in, we're going to go ahead and type force dookie. So once we get in here. All right. So you can see some of them plugins load up. Now I'm going to go ahead and do force duty. So I'm going to type in force duty. Sometimes you have to wait a couple seconds for all this to load in. So there we go. We hit force duty. And you can see all LSP of our plugins are loading up. 
just like so. Perfect. We're going to hit F4. We are loaded in. My EUP is working. So I'm going to go to my last uniform. We are here as the sheriff. And then I'm going to go ahead and spawn in a vehicle. And show you that the lights are working. Oh, right up on that bush. All right, so we got the vehicle in, the lights are working, all that good stuff. But uh, there you guys go. You guys are now back inside the game. Again, if you do me that one favor, hit that subscribe button to help the channel reach 100,000 subscribers. If you're already subscribed to the channel, well, thank you. Thank you very much. And if you could also do that other favor and, you know, smash that like button, show some love to the channel. We'll see you all in the next one. Y'all stay blessed. Stay safe out there. Peace.